Hey, Rajiv. Hey, what's up? Can we do this fast? Is my phone visible? What are we doing today? What are we going to do? We're answering your questions. <laughs> oh, well, okay. Started with my first job. I was often sent solo to remote locations, remote cities. Initially, it was quite intimidating. While I started my career, the entire focus was to reach a point where I have become the most successful person ever. During that era, I had to start my family. Uh, as for me, a lot of times I'm underestimated, if not overestimated, not even estimated, just underestimated. You know, I was terrible at math and I always knew I would not take up a career path which my family expected me to take. Uh, I have actually grown up surrounded by strong, independent women. So when life gave me choices, I decided to, you know, break free from the usual rules. Yeah, so I usually tend to think in black and white. Whenever I have an idea or a thought or I want to release something publicly. So my mom has been a teacher all her life and she retired right when COVID struck. She started watching YouTube videos and tutorials to learn how to trade on the stock market. I'm from an engineering background. One subject that gave me a lot of trouble was accounting and I actually thought I would never get through it. Uh, so you know, there was a time when I was uh, too overworked and you know, too overwhelmed with the task that I was getting. Also, I was too stubborn that time. I was not, uh, you know, asking for any help from anybody. With each success, I challenged the status quo and uh, demonstrating that, you know, women are just uh, as capable as men in any field. So I went for this um, unconventional love story found my husband online with a click and a swipe. So looking back, every bold move I made was about discovering myself. But somewhere I did realize that, uh, no, I think I need to be more. I mean, this is not who I really am. Uh, it's not what you see is what the actual reality is. The reality can be way more different than uh, what a person portrays themselves to be. So don't judge a book by its cover. And that's where my sister helped me out a lot. She used to come on video call and teach me the subject because she was from a BCom background and uh, she was able to help me. And when I told my parents that I want to become a journalist and do something in media, all I received was just support from them. Uh, you know, out of nowhere, one of my colleagues, Priya, she came and she noticed that, you know, I'm, I'm going through a lot of struggle. So she offered help and uh, she also told me about, you know, how I can, you know, balance my work and my personal life. And uh, yeah, after that, you know, I always feel empowered that, you know, I'm now I can ask help whenever I need. And uh, I really feel empowered to have mirrored this particular trait, uh, to have a personal opinion, being able to make independent decisions and not wait for someone to do that for me is truly liberating.